Well, each year some 60 million cubic feet of lumber is harvested in McCurtain County, home of Beaver's Bend State Park. Inside the park, you're going to find all sorts of activities, including a museum that chronicles our state's forest heritage. Michelle Finch-Walker is the director of Oklahoma's Forest Heritage Center and takes us for a tour. The Forest Heritage Center was established in 1976 and the central theme of the museum is told through a series of murals or dioramas like the one here behind me, all painted by one artist, Harry Rassall. And they start with the days of the dinosaur and work their way through the, chronologically through the past, the present, and the future of forestry. Uh, the emphasis of the Forest Heritage Center is to teach people, the visitors, about all of the things that come from the forest and uh, all the good things that come from trees. And these 14 murals that were painted by Mr. Rassal over a 12-year period are the central uh, tell the story of that. Harry Rassal was the, one of the creators of Smokey Bear. And um, when the board, when the Forest Heritage Center Board of Directors established the museum in the, in the late, mid to late 70s, they said, well, maybe Harry Rassal would come here. And he would actually paint the mural in his studio in Atlanta, roll it up, ship it to us, and then he would come here on site and, and finish out the foreground and, and all the detail of each of the dioramas. The end of Harry's life, after he finished all of this, he was 80 years old and looking for a new project. And so he and our chairman, Quintus Heron, who's a local tree farmer from Oklahoma, decided to um, come up with a bear, kind of looks like Smokey, but he's called Tree Bear. And he, um, Tree Bear has uh, pine trees in his little, his bag here, pine seedlings, and a dibble bar that you use to plant pine trees when you, when you do it. And, um, and so he's just a cute, good looking bear. And we have Tree Bear puppets now, and Tree Bear books. And, um, all kinds of things to teach kids about all the good things that come from trees. And his slogan, if you will, is good things come from trees. In 2006, the Forest Heritage Center marks 30 years of, of being here. And so in celebration of that, we um, opened up this special exhibit featuring the art and the artists who've contributed to the Forest Heritage Center for those 30 years. And in this room you see um, some of Harry Rassal's early work, uh, the artist who did our 14 murals, but in addition to that we have the beautiful uh, mesquite rocker by artist Robert Henserling or some chainsaw carvings by a variety of people. There are over 30 artists represented in this room to celebrate that 30 years of the Forest Heritage Center being here. We won an award from the Museums Association for an outstanding exhibit a couple of years ago, and then we finally got the book published and won an award for the Traveling Timbertown book. But more importantly than the awards is the story that we're able to tell in here about life in the woods around this area from 1910 to 1969, and there's just thousands of hours of oral history that we've gathered from the people who lived it. And, and so they built railroad spurs and actually put a camp called Klebet, um, north of what's now Eagle Town. And so from 1924 to 27, they spent three years logging the Klebet camp. And while they were logging this, another crew was building a new railroad line to the next location. So they literally took these houses, loaded them up on trains. We don't have pictures of that, but they would load them onto a train, move the whole camp of Klebet. So Klebet would move over here. And so for two years, they logged in this area. And they would send the logs by rail car back into the mill. You know, people were married in the camp, babies were born in the camp, um, kids went to the one-room school in the camp, and all of family life went on. The Dirks Company was smart, and they said the only way to get these guys out in the woods working is to take the family with them. We recognize the contribution of the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC boys, um, and all the things they did in Oklahoma and the country under President Roosevelt's New Deal. Um, it's how he put Americans back to work after the Depression. So in our area, we're honoring the, the, the camps that came in and built the roads over the mountains and um, planted trees and ran phone lines and fought fire. And these guys would go off to these camps when they were at least 17 years old. And for a dollar a day, they would do all this amazing work. <laughs> 